Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back guys and girls, let's take a look again on the forex market. Uh, today we update our view on the cable as uh, we have dedicated the vehicle report to the euro and currently, well nothing really to add to the previous view. So because euro is standing high as we suggested, right from the area that we also discussed in the vehicle report, there was the pennant if you remember we talked about it in our report in sentence market has chance to proceed high right from the pennant or maybe it will form some minor ABCD pattern retracement ABCD way retracement but this market has hold to the first scenario and starting up direction right from the pennant and currently we're still watching for the same target as we have specified previously is 120 120 25 area so there we will have some cluster uh, some targets it's, first of all this is monthly COP target so already has been met around 1980 in 2025 with actually the extension of the butterfly on the weekly chart there this will be as soon as the target will be reached maybe some reaction will follow and today uh, we need to just bring the same additional analysis to the cable what's going on here so if you remember uh, once we talked about the long-term perspective of the cable and uh, make an analysis of the cable uh, two weeks ago, we come to conclusion that it seems that currently market should not show the deeper retracement, at least based on the price action that we saw. And that's why our suggestion in the medium term was anticipation of the action somewhere to the 136 area. Because by, by our, our opinion, the 136 will become the decisive moment for the cable either we will get the major breakthrough to the upside there or some real collapse could start right from the 136 area and uh, the potential target of this possible collapse is 120 currently it's impossible to suggest what particular driving factors could stand beyond of this action either the collapse or major breakthrough but the one thing stands uh, so that it's 136 as we suggest this will be very important level for the Great British Pound but first as you can see market has to climb there and reach this area and uh, that's why today we have to set a new target so if you remember previously we mostly were dealing with uh, uh, this A, B, C bottom patch and that was the COP here was the OP and XOP stands somewhere around 140 but at the same time guys we have a few different targets first of all the minor A, B, C, D here with the XOP is probably already has been hit actually we could uh, test them and check this out whether this XOP has been reached or not well not quite but it's very close so market actually is coming to the minor XOP it's right here so it's a 134.50 area. This will be short term destination point of this minor A, B, C, D patch. Uh, so, but what is more important is that here on the daily chart we have another A, B, C, D with more extended legs. So we could take this A, B, C bottom and O, P. This will be 136.17 area. That's what we would like to see. What will happen around it. What's more important, guys, or not more but also important is take a look that OP stands slightly above the previous top since that will be also in an area of the ever but it's great chance that we could get here the strong wash and rinse action so market hits the OP and then could collapse if we will see this this will be great advantage great uh, help for those of you who would like to take the short position and in general for position taking the forming of the wash and rinse hitting of the OP and drop below the top here and so be really very good stuff so that's what we intend to keep an eye on within the few sessions maybe even couple of weeks 
depending on what speed will be our production. On the four-hour time frame chart, uh, we could consider close standing targets. So if you trade on intraday chart and you keep long position, so if another ABC repatch we could based on our guardless triple to buy that we discussed last week. If you remember, indeed, divergence that we also specified here worked nice. It was market taken out of this top and continue up production. And this ABC points at the 34 80 area, so almost the same level as uh, our minor XOP from this ABC bottom, if you remember. It also stands at the same area, 38 80, 34 80 approximately. So that's will be nearest standing target on the cable. It's around 34 80, 34 uh, 60. It's right here. Finally, on the hourly chart, market currently is forming some kind of the free drive patch forming minor divergence. Since we have the major targets ahead and they have not been hit yet, uh, if any reaction on this free drive will happen, it will be very short term. I would suggest that it's most probable that market will reach 30, 33, 30 area. This level, also if you will plot here another FIB level from these lows to this top, you will see that's also another confluence, confluence support. I have put here this confluence as well, 30, to uh, 80, but in the current circumstances, it's too early to talk about it. Maybe later, if market will hit the XOP at 34.80, and probably it could show a bit deeper retracement. But once it stands higher uh, and it's moving higher right to the major targets, here we could suggest just minor pullback if it will be formed, or maybe no retracement will happen because when the market is coming to the major targets, usually, well, doesn't have the habit to show the retracements. It's just standing to the target. Uh, and it's work like the magnet and that's why uh, on, the, on the way when the market stands within the few pips below the target very rare you could see the really some meaningful retracement usually it's some small consolidation a very small retracement is before the target will be hit that's why well since we still have kind of the free drive here although personally guys what I do not like with this free drive is this fast accelerations to the top of the drives I prefer to see greater action with the three drives. I do not, I do not like the thrust uh, right to the target. That's why well, uh, this is not for for purpose of the trading to the downside to the, for a sell. This I, I just put this three drive patient uh, in case if market will show the retracement because in current circumstances it would be better just to take the long position on some support aiming on the targets around 34, 60, 34, 80 rather than to trade. Uh, cable to the downside prior the major target will be reached. So uh, the, the purpose of this free drive is quite different. It's mostly uh, to explain the possible retracement if it will happen. As you know, the target of the free drive to the downside is the top below between the second and third drive. So bottom between the second and third drives. And uh, in this case, if retracement will happen, it's logical to suggest that will be somewhere to the 30, 30, 30. That will be a possible support area. So that being said, currently situation stands bullish. Uh, we mostly watching for long position taken. Do not intend to trade cable on the short side, at least until the major targets will be hit. Intraday and short term major targets stand to around 3460, 3480. Is two different XOPs. Daily major targets stands at 3670 area. So what? Uh, before they will be reached, it is not recommend to take the short position on the cable and better to consider any pullback that will happen as a chance to call long. Uh, that's what we see currently on the cable.